G'day, I'm Doug from Shaving Down Under, and it's a Monday morning here in Australia, and today we're going to do a razor and razor blade review, and this is a razor that's been sold in Woolworths uh, stores, shops right around the country, I'd imagine, usually when they sell something that's Australia-wide. I haven't seen it in Coles at all, um, Coles, I haven't seen them sell any uh, double-edged razors, just or only just razor blades, Wilkinson swords, but not a razor. So this is it. It's called Jack the Barber, or Jack Barber. Trying to let you see it so there's not too much reflection. And um, that's it there. It's a three-piece. I was hoping it's going to be a butterfly, but it isn't. And these are the blades. So 12-pack. And they're all made in China. So blades in China and the razor in China. Now, what else can I tell you about this? This was around 20 odd bucks uh, Australian. It's cheaper USD. These are about $14, $15. So not good value. They would have to be absolutely sensational blades to justify that. You know how it is, you can go online and probably you can get uh, 100 Derby premium blades for about $18. So that doesn't stack up. So that's it there. God, there's a little bit of uh, engraving in the top there. I'm not sure how well that'll come out on camera. So let's see it unscrews from the top. So that's it there, that's, that's a fairly light handle. There's none, it's just a smooth handle, so, and it's got, as you can see, some grooving put into it, but just single sort of groove, so I reckon you'd be holding it around here, so there's no real grip, so I reckon that's a bit of a downer to start with. Let's have a look. The cap. So the cap, this is interesting. Instead of sitting on top of the uh, base plate, it's actually made into it. So I'll just lift that. I know the... Trying to get a focus to be a bit tough. So... So that's interesting. So the blade will be totally encased, so there'll be no hangover on the edges there. You can see that lip. So the blade sits down in there. So that is interesting. So there are the blades. It just comes in a little cardboard box. So I don't know if you can buy these just like that anywhere else. I haven't actually tried online. I'll do that today when I get to work. So that's it there. So there you go. The blade's in there and there's absolutely no overhang. It's all been covered up. So that is an interesting little detail. So I'm gonna shave with the Darwin Razors uh, Bay Rum Soap, the one in the coconut shell I did a while back. Really love this company. They're an excellent company. They're in France, uh, but they're excellent to deal with. And um, yeah, this is a tallow soap, but it's not beef tallow. It's actually dark. And I got really good lather out of it last time. And, and we're going here with the bore brush again. So there we go. Beautiful lather in the bowl.
So as you can see, you get really good lather out of this soap. Definitely be links in the description. And this is, um, I highly recommend buying from this company. They sell uh, brushes, soaps, aftershaves, uh, and other assortments, razor cases. They're excellent good people to deal with. So this is a lot lighter than that Schick blade, a razor I um, reviewed a few weeks ago now, so much lighter. You can feel this a bit more top heavy on the head. So you can hear that. There's a little bit of blade there. Harley riding off. Yeah, so not much happened over the weekend. Bought myself a chainsaw. Just uh, one of the battery ones, uh, Ryobi. Since I'm not, I'm just a backyard chainsaw. Couldn't see the point of, um, something went click there. I wonder what that was. Yeah, I couldn't see the point of getting a petrol one. But from what I found, the, um, the chainsaw we got on the pole, which is just a small blade running on a battery, perfect. Really good life out of it. Um, especially for around the house and stuff. So if you've ever been thinking about getting a chainsaw for sort of just basic gardening and whatever, not from a professional, this is my work tool point of view, just go with the battery. They're, they're really good. I reckon this is um, the first uh, razor blade made in China that I've used.
God, this side feels good to pull off. No real scent in it. But just a beautiful soap. I think that just feels a little bit too easy to come undone. Yeah, you gotta give it a good turn. I like that, no overhang. That's interesting. Okay. I've got a few little nicks here. I'm not really sold on the blade. We do have Christmas coming up. So... If you were to give this as a present, to a son or husband, boyfriend, uncle, cousin, whatever, mate, I would personally skip these blades. I, I like the head of this, but I reckon I'd skip the blades. The money you're paying for them. But it just, uh, doesn't justify them. Now I'm getting a fair bit of drag as well, I reckon. Razor washes out well, so that's a good plus.
Okay. These are average. Still got pretty good shade, but a lot of nicks. I got. I just don't get that, and um, so I wouldn't buy these. You know, it's me being brutally honest. Um, I'll probably go a little harder because it's Woolworths. I'm not going to dent their bottom line. So, yeah, I just would stay away. Look, if you're curious, give them a go. Like, why not? Um, I think 14, 15 bucks for the box, they're just not worth it. You can get far better online um, and far more. Like, that was almost the price of 100 Derby premiums. Derby premiums, but double the blade of this. Um, the razor itself, no, uh, what's a knurling, I think you call it, on the handle itself. So, you know, I didn't get any soap down there, but if you did, that'd just be slippery. You'd have no grip. Um, I, I like how it encloses the end of the blade. I think that's an interesting um, little uh, thing to it. Otherwise, it's a $20 razor. And I, I think you're better off spending a few more dollars on something a little bit more well made. Going online, get the, the sh well, go online and get the chic one. Um, and that was sort of around the price, maybe a bit more, but a better blade. And a, and a better razor. And so, yeah, I'm not going to give it stars or anything. It's just, it's very beginner and the blade is just not good. Um, I'll wrap up. This is the Bay Rum Splash that comes with the coconut. And this is a really good splash, really good soap as well. So I'll put that on. There will be sting, and there is. Wow. I'm not sure if that's got alcohol in it or not, but I could smell it. I could smell something. Yeah. My, um, I need my glasses for that. I'll look that up, <clears throat> but um, yeah. So anyway, that's my thoughts. Let's get on with the day. Let me, I'll go get dressed, go to work. And so let's um, chat soon. All right, take care, ciao.